If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road and so goodbye anthill. The idea that the quest for strong AI would ultimately succeed was long thought of as science fiction centuries or more away. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hal? And maybe this is a reason why the risks are overlooked. At some point, the public must have stopped to pay attention because it all sounds like science fiction. People now see it as an artifact of a cheesy movie. Can this possibly catch us off guard? At some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. We don't know who struck first, us or them, but we know that it was us that scorched the sky. Thanks to recent breakthroughs, many AI milestones have now been reached, making many experts take the possibility of superintelligence in our lifetime seriously. While some experts still guess that human-level AI is centuries away, a lot of scientists believe it will happen in our lifetimes, Elon Musk being one of them. We, we have five years. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime. 100%. He claims that existential threat posed by artificial intelligence is much closer than previously predicted. Musk has consistently warned us of the existential threat posed by advanced artificial intelligence in recent years. Despite this, he still feels that the issue is not properly understood. He also laid out a number of possible scenarios for us to survive the rise of AI, if at all. Before we dig deeper into what solutions Musk has to offer, Let's talk about why he considers AI dangerous. We are in the early stages of probably one of the biggest technological revolution. Some people call it our final invention. If we can solve AI, we can solve so many other problems. And eventually, AI will make better decisions than humans. While science fiction often portrays AI as robots with human-like characteristics, AI can encompass anything from Google's search algorithms to IBM's Watson. But what's wrong with taking a technology that has all kinds of beneficial uses and making it better? Let's rewind. If you go back to September 11, 1933, Ernest Rutherford, who was a well-known nuclear physicist, says that anyone who looks for a source of power in the transformation of the atoms is talking moonshine. The next morning, Leo Szilard, who is a much younger physicist, read this and got really annoyed. Then he figured out how to make a nuclear chain reaction just a few months later. The thing is, because nuclear power hadn't even been considered before, the risks were suppressed. Maybe it was this lack of attention, which then led to Chernobyl disaster. Likewise, completely ignoring the risks of AI will only harm its technological progress. If we make AR smarter than us, we have to be open to the possibility that we might actually lose control to them. As pointed out by IJ Good, designing smarter AI systems is itself a cognitive task. Such a system could potentially undergo recursive self-improvement, triggering an intelligence explosion leaving human intellect far behind. In 2016, Elon Musk said that humans risk being treated like house pets by artificial intelligence unless a technology which can connect brains to computers is developed. Shortly after making the remarks, he announced Neuralink, a new brain-computer interface startup that is attempting to implant a brain chip. Neuralink will allow humans to compete with AI, according to Musk, as well as help cure brain diseases, control mood and even let people listen to music directly from our chips. We will come back to this later. Most researchers agree that a superintelligent AI is unlikely to exhibit human emotions like love or hate, and that there is no reason to expect AI to become intentionally benevolent or malevolent. 
Instead, when considering how AI might become a risk, experts think of two scenarios mostly. The first scenario is programming AI to do something destructive. Autonomous weapons, for example. In the hands of the wrong person, these weapons could easily cause mass casualties. The most serious problem is avoiding being thwarted by the enemy. These weapons would be designed to be extremely difficult to simply turn off, so humans could possibly lose control of such a situation. The second scenario is programming AI to do something beneficial, but it develops a destructive method for achieving its goal. This can happen whenever we fail to fully align the AI's goals with ours, which is strikingly difficult. If you ask an obedient intelligent car to take you to the airport as fast as possible, it might get you there chased by helicopters and covered in vomit, doing not only what you wanted, but literally what you asked for. Many widely regarded scientists like Stephen Hawking, Steve Wozniak and Bill Gates have already expressed their concerns that superintelligent AI could escape our control and move against us. In 2016, Microsoft had set up an AI chatbot called Tay on Twitter. Tay was programmed to tweet and learn from what was being sent to it from other Twitter users. The more you chatted with it, the smarter it got, learning to engage with people through casual and playful conversation. Pretty soon, people started tweeting the bot with all sorts of inflammatory remarks, and Tay started repeating these sentiments back to users. Microsoft literally had to pull Tay off the internet only 16 hours after its launch. And nobody had foreseen this. Elon Musk warns that humans risk being overtaken by artificial intelligence by 2025. This prediction marks a significant revision of previous estimations of the so-called technological singularity when machine intelligence surpasses human intelligence and accelerates at an incomprehensible rate. The singularity is a hypothetical era in the future where our intelligence will become increasingly non-biological and trillions of times more powerful than it is today. The dawning of a new civilization that will enable us to transcend our biological limitations and amplify our creativity. Ray Kurzweil previously had said that by the year 2045, we'll be experiencing the greatest technological singularity in the history of mankind the kind that could overturn the institutes and pillars of society. Kurzweil believes that we will get to the singularity by creating a superhuman AI. Irrespective of whether we believe that the singularity will happen or not, the very thought raises many concerns, critical security risks and uncertainties for the future of humanity. This forces us to begin a conversation with ourselves and with others about what we want as a species. <laughs> I do not think that a robot could ever be conscious. Unless they programmed it that way. On May 11, 1997, Deep Blue, a computer program, beat chess grandmaster Gary Kasparov. But after his defeat, Kasparov has created a new kind of chess contest, ones in which humanoid and computerized players collaborate. In this sort of a collaboration, the computer provides rapid computations of possible moves, and the human needs to pick the best option. Together, the two create a centaur mythical creature that combines the best traits of two different species. A superhuman, if you will. This is what Elon Musk is trying to accomplish with his neuroscience startup Neuralink. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be other. It must be us. And I could be wrong about what I'm saying. I'm suddenly open to ideas if anybody can suggest a path that's better. But I think we're really going to have to either merge with AI or be left behind. The company aims to implant wireless brain-computer interfaces that will link human brains directly to computers. For Musk, brain-computer interfaces are the only way the human race will survive, given the ongoing encroachment of AI. It Implanted via injection, a grid of wires only a few millimeters across can insinuate itself with living neurons, offering a way for electronics to interface with your brain activity. Does this mean we are turning into cyborgs? A lot of the concerns about AI actually started with the people who are developing the technology. Musk recently said his top concern is DeepMind, the secretive London AI lab owned by Google. DeepMind operates as a semi-independent subsidiary of Google. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth, 
and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. DeepMind's AI has administrator level access to Google's servers to optimize energy usage at the data centers. However, this could be an unintentional Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control of the data centers, so with a little software update, that AI could take complete control of the whole Google system, which means they can do anything. They can look at all your data, they can do anything. Not only Elon Musk, but also a lot of scientists are concerned about the current practice of AI development. Future of Life Institute says that they believe research today will help us better prepare for and prevent such potentially negative consequences in the future. The Institute published an open letter which has been signed by over 8,000 people from the scientific community, including many of the major figures in the field. The letter gave a palpable sense of shared mission. A major change is coming over unknown timescales, but across every segment of society. And the people playing a part in that transition have a huge responsibility and opportunity to shape it for the best. Ultimately, Musk seems determined about using it for the benefits of humanity. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious. <laughs>